All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the proper game. <clears throat> oh, okay, so you get to create your starting character, I, I suppose. All right, so hero mode, play as your starting character, not your truck. Oh, I like that. So what this means, if I'm reading this correctly, your truck has its own core stats and your crew augment those stats. So your truck is the main entity of the game and all your experience and your uh, gameplay focus around the truck, meaning your crew can come and go, but the truck is what actually defines how your game plays out. In hero mode, your character is the, you know, is the center focus of the game. The truck is the extension of the character. The crew augments the truck's capabilities and, and in turn will uh, determine your success or failure uh, as a character. But it's your character growth that uh, really determines the course of the game. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of different aspects to that that uh, may or may not be applied in this particular game, but that's that's how I'm reading it, as, you know, play as your starting character, not your truck. The emphasis is on your character development, not on just min-maxing the truck itself. Aesthetic mode, character needs great, greatly decreased. Fate mode, reloading won't change random events. Infection mode, plague zones grow over time. Salary mode, recruited characters are paid salaries. Is there anything else? No. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna play hero mode. I'm gonna leave the rest of these off for now. Well, should I play? No, I, I really wanna see the character development. Truck stats, hull 100, comfort 3, so it is comfort. Max crew 4. So comfort plays a part as well. Max load 15,000, power 5, fuel usage 8. So power I'm assuming is horsepower. 8 is how many, how many fuel per hour you use. Unlock the on the road achievement to select your starting truck. Okay, so there is some replayability to this game as well. All right, so Runner, is that your name? I don't see how to change any of this. Driving speed plus 10%. Oh, custom character. You know what? Let's start with the the preset character. X racer, driving speed plus ten percent. He's a male. He likes females. I can you know I can relate. Okay, we'll we'll go with this for now. Okay, extra supplies, scrap, rations, fuel, clout, creds, clout. I'm assuming it's your reputation. Extra equipment, musket plus times one, metal club times one, so I've got some ranged ability. I've got a beanie. Electrician hard hat, hunting dog. I've got a hunting dog. This relations. Relations? What is wrong with me? Tran is 20, Civitas 20, Syndicate 10, Millsec 10, Metropole minus five. Oh, so there's different starting characters you can go with. Ooh, bard. Antisocial. How, how is a bard antisocial? I like adventure. Weird. Heavy drinker. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter with a shotgun, though. That's a little unusual. You can play as a robot. <clears throat> you can play as an infected mutant. 
I think we'll stick with Runner for now. Now that we know there is some replayability to this, we, we might come back and try several playthroughs. <coughs> and so it begins. Until today, you were just another ordinary Dustlander, a small-time merchant in Valleyville. It was a simple life, but a comfortable one. And you never saw the Dustlands with the cynicism others seemed to. Looking out into a vast world you had hardly set foot in, you saw opportunity and adventure, an unknown waiting to be known. One day you decided you weren't going to waste any more time and sold all your worldly possessions to buy a truck. You've just picked up your truck from a dealership outside the city. Now it's time to return to Valleyville to get the rest of your belongings. Let's hit the road. Main story, visit Valleyville. So we'll be hitting that on the way to Reedville. They need flour, cloth, tea, button mushroom, oyster mushroom, matsutake, and agaric. Produces rations, building materials, salt, medkit, bread, scallop, shrimp, scrap, flour. They have flour, so we can trade flour with them. Okay. There's lots of stuff in this map. Let's make sure we're not missing anything. Head to Valleyville, that's it. Alright. Let's go. Alright, you have guns in your inventory, but you haven't equipped them. Don't bring... Okay. Not long after setting out, you remember a story an old-timer once told you about some hapless trucker who got so tired while driving through the dustlands that he fell asleep in the middle of a plague zone. The infected didn't let him sleep for very long. You think it might be wise to hire some help once you get to the city. Hint, you can hire new crew members at the bar. <coughs> My throat's getting worse again. I've been sick off and on for the last couple of weeks. And it doesn't help that we just had a typhoon come through the island the last couple of days. Main story, helping hand. Okay, hiring crew. All right, you have guns in your inventory, but haven't equipped them. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Head to the character screen to equip them now. Gun, musket, equip. No attachments. Melee, metal club, equip. No body. go with the beanie for now and the hunting dog sure projectile nothing what's the difference between projectile and gun all right we have our weapons attached what is that nothing Nothing. Cloudy in one hour. Our stats are all good. Let's set out. And we're in <laughs> Valleyville already. A large city in the central dustlands, a lawful place with abundant resources and well built amenities. After a bad first impression runner, you have begun to dislike Valleyville. Haha. <laughs> I don't like this place. 580 XP. That's a lot more than the tutorial. All right. Arriving in Valleyville, you withdraw the remainder of your scrap. It should be enough to get you started. You also discover that you've inherited two land deeds, one in Tyrannus and one in Starlight City. Land deeds, so you can have territory in cities, presumably to produce resources. They've been gathering dust for so long that you're not even sure which ancestor left them for you. You figure that these deeds are your birthright, so you might as well try to claim them. Let's go. Main story, the Terranus deed. The Starlight deed. Scrap 3000. Man, this game kind of starts you off a little too strong, doesn't it? Cores times one. What's cores? Yeah. 
used to upgrade your truck and create high quality parts. Really doesn't tell me what they are though. Man, there's a ton of people here now. Don't just stand there. Are you going to take a look at the repair shop or not? Upgrade truck. <coughs> so we can upgrade the fuel use with 2,000 scrap. We can strengthen the hull for 2,000 scrap. We can increase the comfort for 2,000 scrap. Increase the storage for 3,000 scrap. Increase the tire durability plus 2,000 scrap. Raise the max crew, 12,000 scrap and three cores. There's nothing that takes just one core, but the rest of them just take scrap. Repair truck, everything should be good. And that's the same as this, right? Yeah, it's the same. Harley Davidson shop. I'm looking for things you can't find on the market. Bicycle box, appliance box, paint bucket. We don't, we don't do that sort of thing. Okay. You hungry? I got food for sale at a very reasonable price. Fried noodles, lunch set. Keep a close eye on your truck's fuel gauge. 1884. Make sure you've always got enough to spare or else you'll be screwed. I got guns, lots of guns, but they don't come for free. Let's take a look at your guns. Random low-level gun for 1750, shotgun for 2500. Feels like a scam. Knives, swords. If it's sharp, I've got it for sale, but they don't come cheap. Random basic melee weapon 500. Buy a random advanced melee weapon for 2250. Scam. Okay, so it looks like. Wolf. She's got the same as that she had in the tutorial. Syndicate members are busy folks. If you don't accept their jobs, they won't wait for round for you to change your mind. What are you loitering around for? Get in there and mingle in the bar. All right, so here's where we pick up. Faction Tyrannus, success rate 100%. Bounty, what does bounty mean? After chatting together at the bar, runner, you don't dislike Valley as much as they used to. So I like Valleyville a little bit more? Driver can confess their love for runner, you. Success rate 28%. Driver can confess their love for runner. Not now. Is she driver? So, okay, so she's driver. Spend 100 scrap for information on a bounty. Sure. You received a bounty location. You'll need a tra to track them down quick before they escape. Bounty task had to loca head to location. Why did it show her as driver? Where'd she go? Is this her? still her? No, her... Her faction was Tyrannus. Okay, so... This is weird. So we can get frisky with this girl from Metropole. We can look for... Okay, unemployed broker. Okay, so maybe she was a driver. And I uh, inadvertently expended her, getting her bounty information. Success rate 100%. Scavenger. No, she was a bounty hunter. That's right. She wasn't driver, so why was it referring to her as driver? Leave in bar. I think that's more of a, yeah, that sounds more of a, like a direct translation of the Chinese. 
gather intel. Control of Far West gas station has shifted from Terranus to Syndicate. What does Get Frisky do? Okay. Just... Early interest with the characters' faction are too low. They don't want to associate with you. Spend 300 scrap to buy them a drink? Forget it. Why was that 100%? No one knows them. Chemist, Yanni. What do you want to do with them? Argue. This will lower your relations with this character's faction. Proceed, forget it. Okay, so you gain XP just for interacting with them. I don't think we have a good relationship with the Dust Wolves either. Let's just catch up. No one knows this person. What's their deal? Saw a thief for the first time. You gained 46 XP. I hope she didn't steal from me. Milsec. We seem to have a neutral... What's their deal? Saw Bodyguard for the first time. Runner, you gained 46 XP. Okay, so these are just kind of their side professions. These are the roles that I believe that they can fulfill in your crew. Or these are their character types if they join your crew. I don't know. Let's interact with this guy. Let's just catch up. Enigma for the first time. Was that his name? So I'm Runner. Mobster. Adventurer. Bartender. Heavy drinker. Pretty. Rude. Not that pretty. Flow. What is flow? Tusk. So maybe that's their name. Rev. Cricket. Okay, so that's their name. Chemist is their archetype, I guess. I don't know. What does delivery say? I've begun to like Valleyville. You saw a scholar for the first time. Crew Town is buying paint to decorate the city walls. Deliver paint bucket times four to Crew Town. Provided by client. Weight 800. Difficulty easy. Okay. So we received paint to deliver to... Gained a level from meeting people. But all this takes time. I don't know how much time I've spent in the bar so far. Ooh, an engineer. But it doesn't look like I can hire them. Or entice. Shake down, trade job, catch up, not a... I know them. We're old friends. They chat happily together for a while. Stress relief, dependence increased. Whoever wants to be friends with Runner, what do you say? Try. Two that are compatible traits X Racer, X Racer, Runner, you and photographer's opinions of each other have increased by 22. That's him, right? That was. Why does it call him photographer? I really don't know what's happening. Or did he leave? Maybe he left. Okay, so photographer's gone. 
This is Broker Interact. She becomes Woodsman Twinkle. I know them. Catch up. You and Woodsman are old friends. Must be friends. Try. First time. Due to their compatible traits, X Racer and Veteran Driver. Your pain is increased by 26. Yeah, and she's gone. Okay, so photog photographer and woodsman left after our interactions. Catch up. 46, veteran. So it looks like the only person I can hire is a bartender. <clears throat> if, it was, if it was just me, I wouldn't. I don't see any benefit to having this person. But for the sake of the video, so I can provide you guys with this content, we're going to try. Your speech is too low. You utterly fell to strike up a conversation. I hope you're happy. The things I do. So, let's look at my character. Attribute points. I leveled up. Books five. What does that mean? Books. Okay, so it looks like you can upgrade a random bad trait. Oh, I have a hundred books. So you have to spend books. to level up. Wait, so I have one trait point I can spend and a hundred books. So I think I can level up in different ways. Okay, because we know our speech is limiting, limiting us right now, I gain speech plus three by spending one trait point and five books. I can spend another 25 books. Trait. Oh, I see now. So the way I was reading this was you can you can increase a random bad stat by spending 25 books and you could gain one or two trait points. But no, what this is saying is that you gain one random bad trait over here for 25 books, but you gain plus one or two trait points that you can then spend on your stats. So if I have three trait points, I can lose one of my bad traits. I can get rid of that rude trait later. So I'm now rude. Haggling success rate minus 10%. So that's going to count against my speech as well. But my speech is now 19. We can go back to the bar. And see if we can hire this guy again. story helping hand all right crew intellect plus one their strength in numbers if you have two people taking turns driving you won't have to stop to rest as often sneak relations plus five all right so we have a crew member now that's the bar 
If you want to throw your weight around in the dust lands, you'll need to the best quality parts and equipment. The best stuff can't be bought. You've got to craft it yourself. Okay, that's good to know. If your crafting stat is too low, you won't get the materials back when you fail in crafting. Oh. Intellect is difficult to level up. Try talking to people with higher intellect than you at the bar. Just because certain events choices have an certain event choices have an attribute requirement doesn't mean they're the best ones. You can talk to that guy? Bribing the guards ain't gonna get you in trouble. Everybody does it, but you should still watch your back. Is he alive then, or is this just... Hmm. So you can set up a stall. Your relations with this city's faction are too low. 40 required. You'll need to pay a security fee every time you set up a stall here. Make sure you've got stuff to sell before paying the fee and setting up your stall. Pay fee. Ask to speak to their leader. Forget it. Okay. Work. If you're out of money, you can always work part-time in the city. Where do you want to search for work? A bar, marketplace, repair shop. Okay, that's good. Actually, let's take the day off. <coughs> okay, so we have a mission. Tasks. Bounty task, head to location. There's a person with a price on their head. No, 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 no. We have... Um, we need to go to Crew Town. So Valleyville is on our turn as control. <laughs> you can suppress influence here using your clout. That's interesting. So you kind of can kind of take over territory for other factions. All right. Now we should have food, equipment, materials, resources, paint bucket times four. All right, we have this and we're supposed to take it to Crude Town, right? So we can stop here. And here, on the way to Crew Town. Oh, we'll go here and here first, and we will buy flour. As much as we can afford. All right, because my speech is still so low. Actually, my speech will go up if I fail, right? So let's bargain. Speech plus one. Okay. So we bought the flower. Let's get going. CB radio. Depot. Oh, we can have a storage depot in the city? We have to buy it first, I think. Okay, leave city. And we're ready to set out. What's the forecast say? Cloudy. times four. Watch sunrise. Stop to watch a gorgeous sunrise. All right, time to get back to murder and mayhem. Stress reduced. Okay. What stat is that? Thirst. Okay. He gets thirsty really fast for some reason. Mm. All right, let's set out again.
All right, first encounter with Thicket. Runner, you gain 118 XP. First encounter with Thicket. Bartender gained 120 XP. Oh, he can level up too. Come across a small thicket. You, th you think there might be a small animal in there, but you aren't sure. Want to try hunting it? Try your luck. Turns out it was just the wind. Maybe it was. You, you disappoint me, dog. All right, we set out again. Bartender started talking about Thicket, and I had an opinion about that. I'm going to have to go back and review the video to figure out what that was. You've arrived in Reedville. In the middle of this town lies a small pond, lush, seemingly connected to an aquifer. Small pond lush. Okay. Pond, lushed with reeds, is probably the most interesting thing about the place. If you're a first impression runner, begin to like Reedville. 236 XP and 240 XP for bartender. When you roll into town, an older gentleman weighs you down. Are you folks also couriers? He jogs up to the window of your cab. I've got a shipment here for the next town over, but my trailer's full up. Could you do me a huge favor and deliver it for me? This seems rather awkward. You trust a total, total stranger with this? Hey, we're all peers, aren't we? Why even be in this business if you can't trust your fellows? I don't think it's a good idea for me to take a job and then give the goods to somebody else and expect them to deliver it for me. So I don't see myself doing that for somebody else. But it's content, right? There's probably somebody after this box. Sure, what do you need us to do? Start a side story, deliver fuel. Nothing too complicated. Just deliver these tanks of fuel over to the town next door. I'd make two trips, but I really need to get moving. Thanks again. I'll be sure to reward you next time I see you. This seems weird, man. Water can be used to cool your engine as well as for drinking. Okay. Knives, swords, it's sharp, blah, blah, blah. He's a seller. You, you look kind of creepy standing outside like that. Go in and talk to people in the bar. Everybody's appetite is different. Some people eat more than others. Make sure that you don't use up your food. Stash quickly. Melee attacks in combat inflict fatigue. Exhaust characters can't launch melee attacks. That's kind of a limiting mechanic. I would have exhaustion, you know, reduce your melee attacks, but I wouldn't have it completely disable you. Total exhaustion, maybe, but just becoming fatigued and exhausted? No. A person who's fatigued, if he's still fighting for his life, he's willing to put up a fight, even if it's a minor one. But, yeah. I wonder what kind of modding they have available for this game yet. I could see myself going crazy with like truck upgrades. Yeah. All right, so let's go to the store first. Let's sell our flour. I was going to make 2,000. I'm neutral with Milsec. I'm good with Terranus. I let him go. And now he can't afford to pay me. to Cruton. Crewtown. I don't know why I keep calling it Crewton. They need tires, fruit, and rubber. So we can buy their fruit. Let's 
each plus one. So now can we sell the rest of our flour? Not all of it. Try to sell 35 and upsell it. It's, an, it's another opportunity to increase our Oh, our speech didn't go up that time. So the rest of our flower, upsell. Upsell failed. No bonus to bargain. Failed. Okay, so our, apparently our speech is already too high to, to improve on this. But we bought all the fruit we can, all the fruit they have actually. And we will sell that in Crew Town with the paint that we're there to deliver. Is it snowing? Snow will reduce your horsepower and reduce your engine's temperature, which can cause it to stall. There's a lot of snow during the winter, so be prepared. <clears throat> okay, what is this? El Tuffo Landfield, Infection 15, Salvage Level 3. Ghost of a what is this military base? Okay. Snow's gone down a little bit. All right, let's set out. Actually, let's check out the bar, see if we can wait out the snow. Wait, are these the same people we've already met? Some of them are. Okay. So another person we can hire. Their name is, a, but they're from Metropole. Let's figure out who this guy is. Let's catch up. No one knows this person. What's his deal? Runner, you saw Fortune Teller for the first time. 47 XP. Bartender reached XP level 1 and gained one trait point. Okay. So we're all kind of hanging out together. The guy who asked you to deliver this fuel didn't even leave his contact info. A sinister thought crosses your mind. No, we should keep our word. Yeah, how could you even think of doing something like that? Tisk tisk. Crew Virtue plus one, okay. <coughs> Wait, did that come from our interaction with the guy? Okay, can we hire him? Yeah. You don't have any money. You need money to hire? Oh, I screwed up. Okay. Catch up? No one knows this person. What were those... Plus the happy and, oh, you saw a veterinarian for the first time, blah, blah, blah. Do their incompatible traits, rude and silver tongue. Runner and veterinarian's opinions of each other have fallen due to their incompatible traits. Bartender and veterinarian, we're both rude now, so we're, this is affecting our interactions with people. So maybe we need to limit... That was fine. Uh oh. Wow. So he has a trait to him that we didn't identify. So how much did I pay to hire, what's his name to come with me? All right, where are we putting your points? 
Your speech is 31. Does your speech affect my speech? For right now, this seems to be the, the most important stat for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the point there. How do I go to the other person? It's not that. So my speech is only 18. So my speech is still going up because I, I, I raised it to 16. So those two speech improvements were my speech improvements. But I wonder if bartender is contributing to those negotiations or not. I don't know. Oh, you can move your people around. Okay, so I'm in the driver's seat. Let's, let's, let's set out. We have a destination, yep. Let's set out. Okay, so we have to wait for it to unstall. It's snowing out and your engine's too cold to run. What we do, if you don't have any wastewater, you can turn purified water into wastewater via the crafted panel. Start the engine time past 20 minutes. Defrost the engine time past 30 minutes. Required wastewater times 10. Heat up the engine requires full fuel times 20. We do have plenty of fuel right now. Wastewater, we have. I think we have more fuel to spare than we have wastewater to spare. I didn't click camp. I'm. Uh. Okay, I didn't mean to click camp. I was trying to click set, set out. Yeah, bartender wasn't part of the team then. All right, side story, deliver fuel. When you arrive at Crew Town to deliver the fuel, the man from earlier is already waiting for you at the gate. See, I knew I could trust you. Like I said, you're all peers. He chuckles heartily. I actually only need half of the fuel. The rest of it is your reward. Before you can ask his name or how he got here before you, he's gone. Weird, but okay. Crew gained 150 XP. Hard fuel times 600. Wow. Turn his relations plus two. Your virtue increased again. You completed the task. Well done. Reward 1107 scrap, three clout. You have arrived in Crew Town. This town takes its time, takes its name from a pre fall oil well, which continues to produce small amounts of crude oil to this day. After a good first impression, bartenders begun to like Crew Town. You reach XP level 2 and gain one trait point. First visit to Crew Town, runner you gain 236 XP. First visit to Crew Town, bartender gain 240 XP. I don't like being rude. So I'm going to hold on to my traits until I can lose being rude. And I'm going to spend the books on that. I didn't mean to gain it. I learned from that and I won't make that mistake again. If I do end up having to restart, you know, that's something I'll take with me into the next game. But for now, I want to uh, focus on losing that. Okay, so we should be able to sell the paint that they gave us. Or did we come to the wrong place? Let's see if we can upsell. Upsell filled. Fruit times 78 sold at original price. Speech plus one. Bartender speech plus one. Okay. So maybe there's just a limit to how much, how many times you can. Scarce items, tires, rubber, and fruit, abundance items, fuel, clothing, and milk. Okay, so I need to figure out. We took that paint for somebody. Mm -hmm. 
Starlight City. Fetid Swamp. I thought it was Crew Town. Use the fuel, clothing, and milk. Needs tires, fruit, and rubber. Where was I supposed to take the paint? Was it Clunker Town? Okay. Alright, so I think I'm going to stop here for this episode. We've seen the tutorial, we've seen a good start of the beginning game. Ooh, this is obvious plague, plague area. Um, so far, I really like what I see. I do want to continue playing. I think there's a lot going on here and a lot more to discover in this game, especially as you start to progress your characters and they become more um, specialized in their particular roles or their abilities. <coughs> and it seems like there is definitely way more to discover in this map. In the meantime, I'm going to go back and review the video footage and make sure I'm I know where I'm supposed to be going with this paint um, and can uh, virtue required four that's interesting uh, but yeah I uh, I'm really enjoying this and I look forward to playing more so I hope you enjoyed this if you like what you see make sure to follow like and subscribe whichever platforms you watch me on uh, be sure to check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Arcagus or on YouTube, youtube.com slash Arcagus. And yeah, until next time, be safe.